Welcome back to Reality Talks with Terrence, where we don't pick sides, we pick reality. And the reality is this, be very careful when you choose to use the word nigger or negro dealing with a person of color, because it might not go your way. Check this out. What's up? Why are you coming over here? I just want to see what you guys are taking pictures of. Why is it your business? Oh, you know what? This is my home. Okay, mine too. Why are you taking pictures Where of me? Where do you live? I live in Scottsdale. Why are you taking pictures of me? Michigan place? Yeah. Why are you taking pictures of me? Well, you know what? We've had problems here. I don't care. You don't know me. Why are you well, taking pictures I... of me? And I don't know you. Do you know a lot of white men are doing racist things in this world, sir? No. You don't know that? You're not aware I'm of that? I'm a racist. You are a racist. I'm a racist. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, so what's, what's your issue? point? Why are you here? Because this is a no nigger zone. Not really. Oh, is it? Not really, sir. Tell me. First and foremost, I want to say, man, shout out to the brother for keeping his composure, for not reacting the way that I will react. Because the reality is this. If I was out in public handling my business, not bothering a soul, and a person of Asian, a person of black, a person of Caucasian approached me and called me out of my name, disrespected me, disrespected anyone that is with me, um, it would have been an issue. I'm not one of those people that uh, play the game. I'm not the submissive Negro. Um, I'm not the Martin Luther King Negro. And when I say that, I'm not get smacked and turn the other cheek and kumbaya, Negro. That's not me. That's, I'm sorry. That's not me. I am more of the, if you disrespect me, right? If you approach me, I take you as a threat and I will eliminate the threat, right? I'm not one of them people who play the game of kumbaya. Oh, he's just this. He's just that. Let a person talk to me any type of way that they want to talk to me. I'm not the person who I do not allow a person to handle me the way they choose to handle me. If you approach me, you better be ready to, to take it all the way there. I'm not the black guy like the one in the camera, right? And, you know, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they are very good at sharing videos of the submissive Negro, of the Negro who let someone disrespect him, right? who doesn't know the law, and who is a Martin Luther King type of Negro and turn the other cheek. I'm more of a Malcolm X type of Negro, right? Yeah. If you approach me with foolishness, I'm going to give you foolishness. I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to tuck my tail. I'm not going to, uh, you know, give you a pass. No, I'm going to give you what you want. I must stop you right where you met me. I'm going to stop you so you won't keep doing this to hundreds of other black people. This is the issue, right? Now, the man that's in the video, he has now lost his job. Um, he sells real estate. And it's crazy that this dude really walked up on um, the brothers, man, and really felt that he could talk to them the way he wanted to talk to them. Man, listen, y'all are crazy. As black men, let's stop the foolishness, right? Come out here, be respectful, right? Um, Do what you need to do when you out here, but do not take no disrespect from these fools, right? If a person walks up on you, right, disrespecting you, I take it as a threat. You need to take it as a threat. Because you heard what that man said. He said, I'm a racist, right? I'm a racist. And then he went on to call him a nigger. He went on to say, no niggas allowed here, right? Once you do that, right, that's a soft four. Soft four can be physical or verbal. Once a person does that, disrespect you with words, verbally, that's a soft. You can handle them. I'm not telling you to kill them. I'm not telling you to hurt the person. I'm saying if a person comes to you with foolishness, handle them. Stop letting them get away with foolishness. 
this is why we have so many Karens, right? And so many people feel that they can walk up and disrespect black people. And there is uh, no repercussions behind that. So I want to leave y'all with this. If you are racist, like the Asian man um, that we just played, I want to say this to you. Be careful. Be careful of the people that you approach and you finna talk crazy to them. Because I want to tell you this. Every black person ain't the submissive. Every black person is not going to walk away. You know, you might walk up on a person who has nothing to lose. And you call them that word and they, and they blow your head off. So be careful if you're a racist now. Um, if you want to be a racist, be a racist in your mind. Be a racist around other races. Be a racist at home. When you come into the public, be careful of who you approaching with that foolishness. Because you might get what you're looking for. So if this is your first time coming across the platform, help the platform out. Like the video. Share the video. Comment on the video. Let us know how y'all feel. How would you would have reacted if a person walked up on you and just totally disrespect you? What would you would have did? Now, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the light bell so every time we drop a video, y'all get it first. I want to thank you for tuning in to Reality Talks Returns, where we don't pick sides, we pick reality. Reality, reality Talks, talks, with, talks T, with T, where we don't, where we pick, don't sides. pick sides, we pick reality. We pick reality.